What's up guys, and today I have for you Jun from Noble Team. The supposed only survivor of Noble Team from Halo Reach. And now all we need is George and Carter and then we will have the complete Noble Team set. Definitely can't wait for that. But until then, let's go and take a closer look at Jun. All right, now starting with the box, it is a box. There's not too much special about it. There's Jun's face right up there, nothing on the top except that UNSC kind of hidden logo there, nothing on the bottom. And then here's back with a nice glam shot of Jun holding his sniper, the other figures in the line, and of course the all important UPC. And there he is guys, out of the box, Jun unmasked with his accessorizer. Or as the French like to say it, accessories. I'm just kidding, I'd have no idea how they say it. Anywho, let's go and take a closer look at this lone survivor. And starting with the head, we get the unmasked sculpt of Jun here. And overall, the paint does look kind of toyish as well as the sculpt. But at the same time, it's based off the game whose graphics weren't that great back then. So it kind of matches. Although I'd love to see Jazzwares pick up the face tech that Hasbro has one day. But it's it's still good. He's got a really cool tattoo on the side of his head though. I, I don't remember seeing that in the game. But I'm sure it was there if they put it on there. It looks great. But of course, we all know Jun with his helmet. So we'll just pop the head off, which comes off surprisingly easy that's what it looks like in there and then here is his helmet that we all have come and known to just get used to i was going to say love but not everybody loves this but anyways you just pop that in there it's kind of a tight fit okay anyways there we go got it on there i didn't hear a pop but it's definitely on there you know that click when it you know firmly gets seated so eh, still good though anyways taking a closer look here we have the iconic Jun helmet, which I think looks great. Loving the details they have there. They definitely did a good job adding some weathering and the sculpt is great. I always kind of thought his, his helmet looked like a frog. I don't know, what do you guys think? But anyways, there's the top of his head right there. Definitely looks like a frog. But anyways, I like the visor as well. It's got that nice shine to it. A little bit of scratches on it, but it's okay. It's battle damage. Definitely a great looking helmet. And moving into the body, we get his armor sculpt here, which is actually unique to him. Like with, uh, let me see here, hold on. Okay, pull out Noble Six here. As you can see, his chest armor is actually the same as the greeny dude right here. It's just he has the knife there, which is also the same as the white Spartan right here from the series one. So these kind of share the same body sculpt, but John's, even though it looks like it should be the same, it's actually very, or it's different enough. You can see the differences right there and then it'll strap up there. So that's a plus. But anywho, back to John, he's got his little kind of ghillie suit upper piece right here, which is actually very well sculpted. I love the details and the wrinkles and everything. It would it would definitely benefit from a black wash to really make those sculpt and details pop. Definitely make it look good. Then you got his little backpack right there, which looks great as well. All of this is solidly glued on. I mean solidly glued on. So if you were thinking of pulling this off for some, you know, customization, you're definitely gonna have to heat this up. But aside from that, it looks very good and here's a closer look at his left arm here with some nice details on this little piece right here has a lot of paint apps as well you got what one two three four four different colors multiple paint apps because each one are considered different paint apps but definitely very well painted same on the inside right here i don't know every time i look at this it just feels like a frog i don't know what it is but anyways there's his forearm right there got some nice orange going on there lots of details and just very well sculpted overall then moving on to this arm right here you got some more of that striping they really put some good paint apps on this then you got the forearm right there which is cool on the inside I got the paint what i really like is this knife right here it's glued on a little bit soft but wink the knife comes out it looks really cool i love that just like noble six it's kind of a secret hidden knife it's got some flex to it that's what it looks like in there and then you simply just slip it right back in when you're done oh and it holds its place very well as you can see it doesn't pop out at all just by accident just definitely stays in there so you don't have to worry about it going whoa no it got lost and moving in the legs we've got some more nice armor sculpting there got some paint on his little groin piece and his booty right there got the annoying legal jumbo blark then you got this side here this pops off there's the inside show you that first nice details this pops off as you would expect from all the other figures it's got some flex to it as well let me look if i can show that 
<laughs> not really. But anyways, because of that flex, it sits in nicely. It just kind of goes, goes grip, and then it kind of stays in there so it doesn't fall out or anything. So definitely great there. And then the side here with this little pouch that looks really cool, actually. For some reason, I kind of wish it would open up and you could like stick something in there like a pistol. That would be kind of cool. But anyways, here's his knees there with some nice details. And then the back there, got a nice paint app going there. Very well sculpted and detailed and loving the color, especially compared to Super Greeny Sheaf from Halo 2 that I reviewed earlier. But anyways, definitely looking great. All right, as for articulation, his head has limited mobility. It really kind of gets stuck on the sculpt there. It doesn't turn very much. And going forward and back doesn't work quite as well either, mainly because like my little pivot joint is super hard and stuck. I'll show you. It's just pop his head off there. Yeah, 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 so yeah, that's why. I don't know what the range is because it's so hard to click. I don't know why mine's so hard. But anywho, arm rotates in the usual circle. Shoulder goes up that high. Also has some bicep swivel there. Double jointed elbow and the hand spins in the usual circle and does a flapper debadoogle. And he has no butterfly joints, which seems to starting to be a trend with the newer Spartan collection. And as for this side, the shoulder only goes up about that much because of his knife holster. I mean, you could kind of lift it, but you might pop it off from the glue, so I wouldn't risk it. And the waist movement is kind of a tease. It just does that, that, a little bit of that, a little bit of that, and maybe some of that. But yeah, not very much. And as for the legs, they go that far forward, but not very far back because of his boote sculpt there. You got to go sideways like that, at which point it just kind of looks weird. But he does have pretty decent splits, and these joints have a lot, very good tension to them, which is, I do like. And of course, he has the thigh rotation right there, the double jointed, crazy looking knee right there, and then the ankle goes forward, backwards. Wait, I got the backwards, and then swivels, and then the toe, not on this one, goes forward and back. I don't know what it is, but this toe is like glued solid. I tried to move it, and as you can see, it just bends instead of actually articulates. So I think this one's glued shut. I'm not gonna bother with it. Although they did glue it shut nice and flat. So at least that's a plus. Same thing with this right thigh for some reason, cause the left thigh right here rotates. This one does not, it is stuck. It does rotate at the joint. As you can see right there, the ball joint there, it rotates. But as for the actual thigh, it does not rotate at all. So I don't know what that is, but if it's glued shut, then at the very least they glued it shut straight. Whoop a doodle. Okay, gotta show you something real quick before you guys make the same mistake. Be very careful with this little piece right here. As you can see, it got chipped because as I bent it up, it hit that top part and it just chipped the bejeezles out of that. So now that's nice and green and chipped off. This side didn't fare quite as badly. I don't know why it has more clearance or something like that. So, yeah. Oh, that's why I had it twisted this way. Yeah, so if you go, I guess, twist it outwards, like, okay, twist it outwards and then go back. Because if you twist it inwards and go back, you're gonna, you're gonna clip that top there. So, yeah, just a, just a word of warning there. Oh, and just side note too, I just noticed on the inside here, it says uh, UK and CA right there, which I'm guessing United Kingdom and Canada, which I find interesting because I know a lot of you guys who are in the UK say you never get these figures, so hopefully they fix that. And for accessorizes Azers, he's got two fisted hands right here that just make fists and stuff ready to punch the, the Coven 8. Then he's got two semi-grabbery hands here to hold some pistols and wee palms and stuff. And then of course the ubiquitous pointing finger that all the Spartan collection figures seem to have, which is actually very, very close to the standard hand that he has right there, except the only difference is one has one finger and one has two fingers, so. Yeah. Then you got the pistol here, which is the same as the other figures that have come with, come with, have, same pistol here. I have no idea what I just said before, but I'm too lazy to do another take. But anyways, here is his sniper, which looks pretty awesome right there. It's got some nice paint apps as well. Kind of bent right there, but oh well. And there's that. There's the bottom. Magazine does not come out. 
like the G.I. Joe figures, which I, I don't know why you would know that unless you have the G.I. Joe figures. Anyways, it's got some flex to it, which is why that's all bendy. This thankfully moves up and down, which is kind of cool. It seems to move the top there, but if you just hold that steady, they rotate on their own by themselves. Very flexible as well, so you can just kind of sprawl that out there to kind of set that sniper zone and go And that's what he looks like holding his sniper rifle because his head doesn't rotate upwards and stuff, so... Yeah, does he kind of look like a Ninja Turtle now to you? I mean, with the... I, I don't know. But he actually holds it quite well like this, so I would say that's kind of a plus right there. Hey, random side note, I popped the thigh loose. It rotates now. Woohoo! Not so much for the toe, though. That's still stuck. But man, that looks so bad, though, on the thigh, the top thigh there. Ooh, oh, oh. Really annoyed at that. Probably just throw some black paint on there to look better. But yeah, don't make that same mistake as me. Make sure when you rotate it up that you rotate that out of the way and then go backwards. So, man, that sucks. And for some comparisons, here he is next to his fellow Spartan Collection Noble team that we have so far, as well as Grapply Hook Master Chief. Man, they're gonna look so good with John and George. Whew, can't wait. And here he is next to some other Spartans, as well as Yoroi and the Halo 2 Overly Green Meanie. He's so green. And finally, here he is to some Spider-Man. No way, it's so good. I'm glad I didn't see it at home, figures. As well as a banana to balance things off because, you know, a balanced breakfast is always good. I'm not sure what to say here. It's a banana. Well guys, aside from the glued stuck toe, he's a great figure and a worthy addition to the Spartan Collection line as well as Noble Team. I'm really looking forward to Carter and George now. George especially because he's kind of the Hulk of the team and I'm interested to see if they actually capture that size in figure form. As well as his chain gun of course. But I'd also really love to see some bad guys in the Spartan Collection because we have a ton of multiplayer Spartans but not a single elite brute grunt or anything. Not even a Cortana. So Jazz will if you're listening, I think we're ready for those. If the next wave is just all baddies in Cortana, I think we'd be happy. But anywho, dudes, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more Halo and Marvel reviews. And until the next time, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.